hi everyone and welcome back to the channel uh, this video will be about insulating the loft in this case is my personal house and i decided that i want 20 centimeters of insulation up in the loft and i already have 20 centimeters of insulation in the ceilings below so that will make a total of 40 centimeters insulation so the recommendations are that you should have at least 25 centimeters of insulation either in the loft or in the ceiling or combined between the between these two as you can see here i started placing the full roll of insulation from the far side of the obviously roof where the obviously space is uh, is very very tiny and um, because being uh, a whole roll it's easy for me to roll it and push it to the edge of the roof you don't want to obviously start in the other side and then climb over and measure and cut the um, rest of the insulation so all you start from obviously the far end and work your way into the center of the loft there are not a lot of things to say about insulating of a loft um, I think this is a very easy process. I think everybody can do it. The only problem that uh, I can see is obviously the insulation is not something nice to work with and sometimes you have to um, put yourself in very, very tight spaces. But apart from that, it's very simple. Anyone can do it. You don't necessarily have to hire a professional to do it. All you have to be careful at is to put your insulation nice, tight, don't leave any space between make sure you're not gonna um, obviously put one insulation on top of the other just lay it nice and flat with no gaps in between and you should be fine um, there's not obviously a lot of engineering in insulating a loft you can see me here rolling the roll close to the spot where i need to obviously lay the insulation you can see me leaving the uh, plastic foil on the back because it's easier for me to drag the insulation and then when the insulation is in place i take the foil and throw it away so i never leave the foil there if you um, choose to take the foil away straight away you will find it very difficult to drag the insulation across the floor especially if the boards are not uh, finished as as i have in my loft Okay, so let me tell you about the insulation that I'm using. Um, it's a 200 millimeter insulation. Uh, it's 1.2 meters by 4.1 meters. And in total, this roll has 4.92 square meters. You can see there. So it's from Knauf. Um, this does have these symbols on it. I didn't ask for this particular one, I just went to my building supplier and I asked them to, if they have any 200 mm insulation. They had this insulation on stock because someone uh, bought it and they haven't picked it up. So there was two pallets of insulation, 118 square meters. I took it all because I, um, I think the loft is just about that side and I said even if it's something left, um, there are places in the house where I can use it so um, yeah I took that all um, I mean insulation is insulation some of them might be better than others you know but in the end of the day insulation roll insulation on the roll is insulation on the roll so it doesn't matter if it's from Knauf or if it's from Isover whatever rock wall they all supposed to do the same thing the good thing about this uh, Knauf insulation I, I notice most of them they not very itchy so they not comparing with the yellow one the yellow one is very very itchy and is a nightmare to work with this one on the other hand is not that bad i mean you still have to wear gloves and you know a respirator and, and so on but this is not even close as bad as the yellow one so you can see this is like a like a brownish color so yeah i will i will choose this all day long in uh, in comparison in, in comparing with with the yellow one but in here wasn't the case this is what they had in stock um, so this is what I got if you have the opportunity to, to choose I will choose this 10 times out of 10 in comparing with the yellow one 
okay so let me show you a different way to cut insulation I did show you before that you can cut the whole roll with a hand saw uh, nice and straight and then obviously you can roll it and um, and install it but sometime that is not possible because you either you need just a little bit or maybe you will have some insulation left in the middle that you can't really use um, you can use more pieces but it's always better to have less joints as possible so <clears throat> I will do the same here so I just rolled the whole roll yeah so all the insulation is rolled that that way and uh, I'm just gonna cut it this way so on this 1.2 I'm just gonna cut it this way yeah so just cross cut it now I know that my cut I know my space is 44 centimeters so I will do 46 centimeters I want to add two extra centimeters just to make sure that the insulation is nice and tight but not too tight yeah so two centimeters added on top of the 44 then I'm gonna use this level they measure and then use this knife yeah with a with a retractable blade you can use a small knife there's not a problem this can work uh, it's just as obviously this is slightly slower, but it does the same result. So trust me I've been using this um, And it does work if you have one of this is even better if not don't worry use this So I'm just gonna place the camera there and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to to do this So we are using the tape measure to measure from the edge of the insulation to the edge of the level and when we are at the uh, desired obviously measurements in our case 46 centimeters we are just gonna stop we're gonna press the level uh, down as much as we can and we're gonna use the knife to to cut it so make sure you are pressing the insulation uh, at this stage you want to comprime the insulation because uh, it will be a lot a lot easier to cut it so you just have to do it two three times and make sure it's cut otherwise obviously you can uh, you can go with the knife one more time and as you can see here there's a nice cut, um, nice and straight cut. And now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna install this. Um, I will do apologize for the for the light. Um, I only had these two lights in the loft, so I hope you can see. So now we're just gonna take the insulation that we just cut and we're gonna place it in here. Uh, we're just gonna press this so it's tight against the other insulation but make sure you're not gonna compress it down because if you will take this insulation that is 200 mil in our case and you could, you're gonna press it down and it's 100 mil, that insulation, it will not work properly. So it needs to have air inside, so you just have to make sure that if it is 200, it will be 200. And here you can see me using the hoover I know it's not something that you're gonna see every day someone using a hoover in the loft but because I did some work in the loft and there is dust and this is also so dust I want to hoover that I don't want to place the insulation on top of that so there's one more thing that I want to say regarding the insulation and is this if you are gonna choose not to spend the money on the insulation you will definitely spend this money on the electricity and on the gas bills and the most frustrating thing is that even if you're gonna spend this money you're still not gonna have comfort so basically in the summer will be very hot and in the winter it will be cold so you're not gonna have a nice comfort um, like I said before uh, 25 centimeters of insulation it's recommended in the loft and in the ceiling or combined in our case we have 20 centimeters in the loft and 20 centimeters in the ceilings below so there's 40 centimeters in total okay so we are nearly done we just have two more pieces to do here by the entrance uh, obviously I'm not gonna be able to film I'm not gonna be able to because it's a bit tight so um, as you can see it's done everywhere uh, we also put some of that uh, five or ten centimeters insulation on the timber and the insulation was 
a little bit above that uh, timber and you, you can see it here so I just uh, had some uh, leftover insulation and I, I decided to cover that wood as well so yeah we're done all the conduit is uh, ready for the for the lights they will be installed at a later date um, so what I have to do now is finish these two bits uh, put the door on the loft and that's it so yeah I hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe if if there is anyone that has any more questions um, you can obviously ask them on the comment section so that's oh, that's gonna be everything for now um, I'll see you next time with a different video goodbye